good afternoon students we are continuing with the exercise 9th c question number 6th we are solving calculate the compound interest on rupees 15000 in 3 years if the rate of successive rate of interest for successive year be 6% 8% and 10% respectively okay so here there are the three different rate of interest so one by one we will calculate the interest and also the amount for each year okay so first of all the principal we have to take is rupees 15000 okay total number of years are Three years. This is the total time in three years. Okay. So let us start for the first year. For the first year, what is the rate of interest? Six percent. The rate of interest is six percent. Principal we will take as rupees fifteen thousand, and the time will be of one year because whenever we are solving separately for each year. always the time will be one year okay so let us find out the interest one interest for the first year that is p into r into t upon 100 okay now the value of the p which is given in our question is 15000 rate of interest is 6 time is 1 Divided by hundred, zero zero will get cancelled. Fifteen six is a ninety and one zero. That means rupees nine hundred is the interest for the first year. Okay. Then calculate the amount of the first year. Principal plus interest one will gives us fifteen thousand plus nine hundred. That is rupees fifteen thousand and nine hundred. Is that clear to everyone? Now what will happen here? The amount of the first year will become the principal for the second year. Correct. Amount of the first year will become principal for the second year. So let us make a calculation for second year. Principal is rupees fifteen thousand nine hundred. For the second year, what is the rate of interest given in our question? It is eight percent. Always the time should be what one year. So let us calculate the interest two. Formula is same. P R T upon hundred. P is fifteen thousand nine hundred. Rate of interest is eight upon one two hundred. Zero zero will get cancelled. One fifty nine multiplied by eight. It will gives us. <coughs> Twelve hundred and seventy two. Twelve hundred and seventy two. Therefore, amount after two year principal plus interest two. So for the second year, what was our principal? Fifteen thousand nine hundred was the principal plus interest two. What is our interest two? Twelve hundred and seventy two, correct. So the total amount will become rupees seventeen thousand one hundred and seventy two, correct. Now make a calculation for third year. So amount of the second year will be the principal for the third year. So the principal we will take as rupees seventeen thousand one hundred and seventy two. What is the rate of interest for third year? Rate of interest is ten percent, and we take a time as one year. Okay. So 
therefore calculate the interest for it formula is p r t upon 100 that is 1717172 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 upon 100 0 0 will get cancelled so the final amount will be rupees got it 17 the point will be here after division now find out the amount 3 that is principal of the third year plus interest of the third year got it so when we when we get a addition when we make a addition of these two we will get 1000 18,889.20 okay 89.20 so this is a amount 3 now compound interest after 3 years the final amount minus principal that is 18,889.20 minus 15,000 the original principle we will take here so it will be 3889.20 as a compound interest okay this is the final compound interest now question number 2 is here we are solving question number 7 For the seventh question, Mohan borrowed rupees sixteen thousand. So principal will be rupees sixteen thousand. Total number of years. Time is three years. Correct. Then the rate of interest is five percent per annum compounded interest. Calculate the amount that Mohan will pay at the end of three years. Okay. So students, we will try to solve this question by using a formula method, okay? We will use here formula method to solve this question. Hmm. Let us see here. Uh, formula. The formula to calculate the amount for the three years will be 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. We can apply this formula if direct question is there. If directly they have asked us the amount of the three years, then only we can apply this. If there are questions like interest of the one year, interest of the two year and interest of the three years, in that case this formula is not useful for us. We have to go by using simple interest method. Okay. Since it is a direct method or we want a direct answer for the end of three years, so we can apply this formula okay so principal 16,000 1 plus rate of interest is how much 5% n n means what number of years what is the number of years it is 3 years so value of n will be 3 is that understood everyone now We'll make a calculation here 5 ones are 5 20 then. so it is 16,000 1 plus 1 upon 20 raised to 3 so for the addition first we will make a addition here for the addition we need their denominators equal but here 20 and 1 is there so we will take a LCM and cross multiply here to get a 20 here we should multiply by 20 to both numerator and denominator already we have learned it okay so 16,000 multiplied by 21 upon 20 raised to 3 16,000 21 into 21 into 21 and also 20 into 20 multiplied by 20 
because of cube sign is here. 0, 0, 0. Also, we can cancel this. 0, 2, 1, 0, 2. 2, 8, 16. 2, 1, 0, 2. 2, 4, 0, 8. 2, 1, 0, 2. 2, 2, 0, 4. So, it is 2 multiplied by 21 multiplied by 21 multiplied by 21 so the amount at the end of the three years will be what will be the amount make a multiplication of all this Two into twenty one is forty two. Twenty one into twenty one is four four one. So multiplication of forty two and four four one. Forty two multiply by four four one. The answer is eighteen thousand five hundred and twenty. Rupees. This is the amount at the end of this is the amount at the end of three years. Is that clear to everyone? Similarly, one more question is there. Rekha borrowed rupees forty thousand. For three years at 10% per annum compound interest calculate the interest paid by her for the second year okay so here the question is related with the second year only means we have to calculate the compound interest separately for the second year so in that case our formula method is not useful if the question was like this find out the compound interest for two years means combinedly if they have asked us about the two years compound interest then only we can apply that formula method okay but here it is separately they have given us or they want to calculate us the compound interest for the second year means only they want the compound interest for second year is that clear so we will use here a simple interest method what is the principle rupees 40,000 is the principal for how many years? 3 years rate of interest is 10% ok for the second year now use a formula for I P into R into T upon 100 40,000 rate is 10 and for simple interest method we will use 1 only 0 will get cancelled so interest will be what 4,000 is the interest ok then amount principal plus interest what is the principal 40,000 is principal interest is 4,000 so it will become rupees 44,000 got it amount is rupees 44,000 then this amount will become a principal for the second year 44,000 rate of interest is 10 percent this time and n that is time is one year we will take all this so principal interest is what p into r into t upon 100 44,000 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 upon two zeros two zeros will get cancelled so interest for the second year will be forty four 
4400 will be the interest for the second year okay it was the question our next question is question number 9 calculate the compound interest for the second year on rupees 15000 invested for the five years at 6% per annum it is a similar type of question see what we will do we will apply the same method whatever we have learned now okay then question number we are solving the question number 12 calculate the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest on rupees 7500 in 2 years Seven thousand five hundred in two years. So that means two things we need to calculate here. First question number twelve we are solving. Okay, what we want to calculate? Calculate the difference between compound interest. and simple interest on rupees 7500 in 2 years at 8% per annum Okay. This is our question. So it means we need to calculate compound interest for two years, and also we need to calculate the simple interest for two years. Once we calculate these two things, we want to find out the difference between them. Okay, let us begin. First, we will calculate the compound interest for the two years. Okay, compound interest for two years. So we can apply here formula method as well. P one plus R upon hundred raised to n. Okay, what is the principal amount here? One plus rate of interest is how much? Eight percent upon n raised to n. N means how many years? Two years. So we will take here two. Got it? For the two years. So four twos are four twenty five sir. So seven thousand five hundred. Here we need to take the LCM upon twenty five raised to two. So it is seventy five hundred twenty five plus two is twenty seven twenty five raised to two. Got it? So squaring this value seven thousand five hundred multiplied by twenty seven multiplied by twenty seven then twenty five multiplied by twenty five. Got it? So let us cancel this. Twenty-five ones are twenty-five. Threes are seventy-five. Zero zero. Again, twenty-five ones are twenty-five. Twenty-five ones are twenty-five. Twenty-five twos are fifty. So it becomes twelve into twenty-seven into twenty-seven. Got it? So twelve multiplied by twenty-seven into twenty-seven. What is the square of twenty-seven? We have learned in the chapter squares and square root. No? So it is seven twenty-nine. Seven twenty-nine multiplied by twelve. Seven twenty-nine and multiplied by twelve. What we are getting here? Rupees one thousand 
rupees eight thousand seven hundred and forty eight this is the amount now we want to calculate the compound interest that is a minus p a is eight seven four eight minus principal is how much seven thousand five hundred so the compound interest will become after subtraction it will become one two four eight rupees one two four eight is the compound interest correct now let us find out the simple interest principal we will take same rate of interest is 8% and the time is of 2 years okay we are going to calculate the compound simple interest now so for finding the simple interest we have the formula p into r into t upon 100 so principal is 7500 rate is 8% upon 2 upon 100 Zero zero will get cancelled. Seventy five two is a one fifty. Seventy five into two is one fifty. And one fifty multiplied by eight will gives us twelve hundred. So interest is rupees twelve hundred. Correct. Now students, our question was to find out the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest. So let us find out the difference. Difference between CI and SI. That is CI minus SI. So the compound interest is 1248 simple interest is 1200 subtraction will gives us rupees 48 okay so this is the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest how much rupees 48 rupees okay so we will stop here for today thank you everyone.